Hey there guys, so before you skip this part, I just wanna give you guys a big shout out to my new subscribers, to all subscribers that been here for a while. I don't usually uh, give names or anything like that, but uh, this uh, video tonight it's inspired by one of uh, you guys. Uh, it was a pleasure to have uh, such a beautiful chat with you. Uh, thank you so much for your support. You know who you are, but yeah, I just want to give a big shout out to Renny Walker, Sai09. Thank you so much for your feedback. I will try to not repeat myself so much, girl. Uh, Maria Teresa, White All, uh, Sophie Bilado, Ordiola, Saliosi, Valeria Cho, Pernila, Angelica Moon, Linley. S2017, PP, Peaceful Aura, Deborah, girl you've been here for I think from the beginning, I don't have words to just express my gratitude towards your support here, so thank you. Um, the Taiwan, Sophie, Kitsune and to all my old subscribers and um, new subscribers and everyone that's clicking on this video, thank you guys for helping this uh, community grow you guys are just amazing but yeah let's jump into the usual intro sorry for this welcome to today's special pick a card reading it's going to be regarding uh, for those that are a bit uh, indecisive or not sure what to do if they should uh, unblock uh, the person that you have on your mind and what it will happen if you do so so if you guys been wrestling with the decision of whether to unblock someone from your life, wondering what uh, waves it might cause in the calm of, uh, or stormy seas of your emotional world, today's reading is designed to guide you through this crossroads of contemplation and decision making. So whether it's a friend, ex-partner, a family member, the act of unblock someone uh, can carry this significant emotional weight and potential consequences. So if you guys are prepared to jump into this reading, take a moment to center yourself, reflect on the person in question and uh, the nature of the blockade here that's been placed between you two here. So uh, let's explore these energies here. We have for the pile number one, uh, I'm not gonna say the name, this beautiful imagery with the rose quartz crystal. For the pile number two, we have these sweet uh, geometrical figures here uh, with the um, citrine crystal. And for the pile number three, we have the geometrical figures here with the red uh, jasper crystal, guys. I'll see you in a second. Take a moment, pause the video if needed, and uh, see you soon. Lovely souls and welcome or welcome back. If you guys been drawn to this rose quartz crystal or to the root from the untamed element uh, oracle deck, uh, I'm sensing this energy being uh, all over the place between you and the person you're uh, having in mind here, you um, want to know the answer for if you should unblock them or not. Um, This card just speaks of a return of your own found and, uh, foundational principles and what keeps you stable and secure here, to be honest. Uh, regarding if you should unblock them here, the root uh, here, uh, it's advising you to consider if this person is part of your foundational support system or if they shake the grounds of your stability here. Uh, the decision to unblock should be rooted in it, uh, whether um, the relationship provides a stable base for growth or if it uh, derails you, my pile number one, from uh, your sense of security and well-being here. Um, what will happen here if you choose to unblock them? It could signify a reestablishment of a connection that has the potential to be nurturing and uh, grounding, but only if it's been transformed in a way that is now positive and life affirming. Uh, however, it's important, uh, my pile number one, to ensure that this reconnection will not disturb your roots here with this card. 
or the progress you've been uh, you made in building a stable foundation with yourself here so i'm getting that this card just calls you to be mindful of your core needs and values here and to proceed with cautious keeping your well-being as a priority here um this is like a reminder that uh, with whatever decision you make uh, should enhance not disturb your personal growth and emotional stability here um i'm not gonna take this as a yes or no answer um i'm gonna do that with the tarot cards but uh, this uh, card leans towards a no uh, if the relationship in question here for you guys uh, previously disturbed your stability and the sense of security it tells me that uh, you should prioritize your uh, own well-being and found an, uh, foundational growth before considering re-establishing this connection with the person you're thinking of. However, if the relationship is now in a place where it contributes positively to your life without shaking your roots here, um, then it could be a cautious yes. The key is to ensure that unblocking this person brings uh, more stability rather than less into your life here. So, for my pile number one here, let's grab the tarot for you guys and see if we can get the answer if you shall unblock them or not. So, for my pile number one here they should unblock the person on their mind or not this is my pile number one should unblock the person on their mind or not okay i'm gonna take one more card is my pile number one should unblock or not the person on their mind here okay <laughs> okay so uh, i'm sensing that uh, you have here three yeses so if you're considering unblocking this person with the cards you just received from the tarot that's a yes here um so with um uh, this uh magician card here um this card uh, tells me that you have all the tools and resources necessary to make this decision here for yourself the magician is about manifestation and taking action and uh, tells me that if you decide to do so you must be clear without about your intentions and be prepared to actively manage the dynamics of the renewed connection here um for others of you you might be a virgo or a gemini here or maybe you're dealing with a virgo or a gemini here with this magician card also again with the root card and the magician here is that i still feel a bit of a warning for some of you out there not for everyone um the magician can heal can manifest but can also be a trickster so don't forget that can give you that false sense of security um can manipulate so for someone out there you, um, just trust your intuition my pile number one uh, but without the rest of the cards, I, I don't get that at all. Um, like you have three positive cards here uh, that are leaning towards the yes. Um, I don't see that bad energy here. Just that for someone specific with the root card needs to be a bit careful when uh, choosing to do so. Uh, okay. With the page of wands here um, this represents curiosity new beginnings and the spark of inspiration here um you might be dealing with a fire sign here or maybe you guys are a fire sign aries um sagittarius or um leo doesn't have to uh, it indicates that unblocking this person could lead to a new phase in the relationship where exploration and learning from past experiences are uh, central themes here. Speaks of a potential for growth and uh, the excitement of new possibilities. I see here communication with the page of wands. So 
I'm getting that this person, if you will unblock them, they will uh, write to you. And with the star card here, uh, this speaks of healing here. Um, it's a card of hope, healing, rejuvenation here. Uh, it's about reconciliation or reconnection. Uh, it's quite positive here for you. My pile number one tells me that unblocking this person can bring a sense of hope and perhaps the opportunity for healing past wounds for uh, some of you. Um, it's a beacon of inspiration uh, speaks uh, that the outcome could be inspiring and bringing uh, peace to both of you here uh, with these cards here we have that we have as i said earlier they're all positive they all lean towards yes uh, indicating that there is potential for a positive transformation and new beginning here uh, however, it should be done with clear intentions and un and this understanding of what you wish to manifest in this renewed connection here. Um, what will happen here if you decide to unblock them, my pile number one, the cards hitting at the possibility of inspiration, growth and healing for this connection. There might be a new adventures and lessons that can arise from this renewed interaction as well as the opportunity for both of you to move towards a brighter, more uh, maybe hopeful face in the relationship here. However, it's important to maintain uh, clear boundaries and intentions to ensure that the connection just aligns with your highest good here, my pile number one. I'm um, gonna jump to the tarot to the tarot <laughs> to the oracle messages here because uh, i don't want to make this reading too long it's already late for me and uh, i just wanted to do this for someone that uh, maybe needs here some inspiration so let's see for my pile number one should they unblock the person on their mind and what is going to happen here? My pal number one. My pal number one unblock the pers person on their mind and what will happen here? Nothing is set to uh, set in stone here. Mm, okay. So you have here also the multiple moon here. So this reinforces that uh, message of flexibility and change here. Um, I feel like um, this indicates that the situation is not fixed and that you have the power, my pile number one, to change the course of the event, especially with the freaking magician here. Come on. <laughs> You just have all the tools you need here, uh, my sweetheart. But yeah, uh, I'm getting that um, if you guys decide to unblock uh, the person in your mind here, um, is like a changeable decision here, meaning that you're not bound to any particular outcome by past actions here. And it's also a reminder that uh, you have the autonomy to choose a different future based on what feels right for you here with this card. What will happen uh, with the mutual nature uh, of this card? I'm getting that the results of unblocking this person are not uh, predeterminated and can lead to a variety of outcomes here. Uh, and um, it implies this fluid situation where new possibilities and potential outcomes uh, can emerge. The future of this relationship is open to transformation and uh, much will depend on the intentions and actions of both parties uh, involved here after the unblocking occurs. So this tells me that uh, if you decide to unblock them, keep an open mind and be ready to navigate the changing dynamics uh, that this decision will bring here for you. It's a call to stay adaptable and open to whatever developments might come with a reminder that nothing is irreversible here. And uh, you also have at the bottom of the deck, a time for healing again the star energy here uh, 
its potential for healing renewal uh, for uh, the majority of you here. Okay, let's see what else. Mm, I don't know where to put them. Just a second. <laughs> uh, maybe I should put them here. Put this one here. You also have here um, the Thor protection boundaries, clear communication, and the great, uh, great mother surrender to the mystery, fall into her arms. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> I'm getting here with these cards that. Uh, you should trust your intuition here, my pile number one. And I sense this again, healing, renewal, reconciliation here between you and this person here if you decide to unblock them. Um, but only if, uh, as I said at the beginning, uh, this is in your best interest and you feel that that's the right thing you need to do. Uh, with this torn card here, um, I'm getting that some of you might be feeling conflicted here about whether or not to unblock this perceive, uh, person. Uh, speaks of this inter internal or relational uh, tension here between you and this person. But it's important here for my pile number one to consider what it's causing these feelings of being torn here whether it's a matter of unresolved issues, a need for closure, or uh, something else. Also with the Great Mother here, this also speaks of nurturing, compassion, so um, if you're thinking of uh, unblocking this person, uh, it's a reminder to show compassion, not just uh, to the other person here, to yourself as well it might be hinting that uh, whatever decision my partner number one you make should come from a place of love and understanding here so if you choose to unblock this person um, Uh, it's a possibility that uh, it's going to be a period of feeling and uh, growth here between you and them um, with the great mother presence here uh, speaks of this um, protective and nurturing outcome here but uh, as I said it's important to set boundaries to ensure that the compassion you're extending does not lead to further emotional strain here and you should always put your feelings first here you also have here at the bottom of the deck, Mother Rose returning to each other, compassion, humanity. <laughs> so, yeah, for maj majority of you here, I'm seeing that you guys are um, returning to the person you guys blocked uh, before. Let's grab uh, one more from here so for my pile number one should they unblock the person on their mind the pink dolphin celebration fun unbridled joy upper heart um i'm getting that um uh, you'll have a reason to celebrate here uh you'll uh, you have the two dolphins here speaking of that uh uh, so my connection to inflame uh, something special a connection with this person that feels special for you guys um, I'm getting that someone here will open their heart for you guys you'll have fun you'll feel joy again you'll have a reason to celebrate or maybe you'll celebrate the coming together here <laughs> between you guys and you also have at the bottom the wishing well, unexpected gifts, kindness, and karmic jewels. So this tells me that uh, if you've been wishing to be with this person, uh, to have something more serious with them, and uh, for them to come back to you, yeah, I'm getting that this is a positive omen for you guys. And... Um, 
let's see I want to draw from this for my pile number one what else do my pile number one is to know regarding if they should unblock the person on their mind or not no no I'm gonna take this one you have here ghosted I'm sorry I disappeared when I, I needed to get I disappeared I needed to get away and clear my head so maybe this person ghosted you here my plan number one you also have honeymoon face attending someone's wedding for others of you let's see what else why is this one it's pissing me off <laughs> why is this upside down I'm not gonna take it was like that already so anything else any other message for my pile number one any other message for my pile number one okay oh, well okay. this it was turned for a reason <laughs> gambling so i'm guessing with this gambling title here um you guys um, will have to gamble if you should unblock them or not uh, or if that's what you're going to do here you're just uh, surrendering to this uh, connection here taking um, a leap of faith towards this person by unblocking them here but uh, this person that you're dealing with maybe they have some gambling problems uh, with addictions maybe they have some problems with addictions um, or gambling bad uh, financials here as well so something they have some problems here this person can have can be a bit uh, toxic maybe and wow <laughs> unblock me um, okay <laughs> uh, I miss you and I want to connect please unblock me literally or energe energetically so we can speak I have a lot to say so there you go my pal number one <laughs> also you have here showing out I'm acting like I don't care but uh about what's hap uh, what uh, happened between us but I do just want to appear unbothered so this person has some toxic traits but you know better so anyway guys this was my reading um, actually no, I'm gonna take two more messages or let's see how many they drop from here okay Okay, close friends, treasure bonds, close friends stands by you through thick and thin. So for some of you, maybe this could be a friend that you block them. Um, specific message for someone there. I've been through a lot. So either this person or you been through a lot here. Again, what's this? Close friend, sister, brother, cousin, maybe you guys so 2020 when i said uh, when i read this message maybe someone here uh, blocked someone that was like a sister or brother someone like close a, little, a relative here uh, maybe something happened between you and them and this person i'm trying to impress you here and do you care about me or it is all in my head so this person it's wondering what's happening here why you keep them blocked for so long <laughs> anyway yeah this is what i had for you guys i hope this resonated with you if it did uh, let me know down below um, also if you haven't subscribed already please do so and uh, i wish you are um, you're having a great day night depending on the time zone you're watching this and uh, may your wishes come through my pile number one bye hey there lovely souls and welcome or welcome back to the heart of tarot if you've been drawn to this um citrine crystal or to the phoenix card here from the elemental uh, untamed um 
this is going to be your message um, this card speaks of rebirth transformation rising from uh, one's own ashes to begin a new year um, this could it's that uh, dead card energy um, I see an ending here between you and someone and um, there is a potential for uh, rebirth here for um, healing for growth with the phoenix card uh, regarding if you should block them here my pal number two this tells me that uh, there is potential for renewal and fresh start here but uh, if you decide to unblock this person uh, you should do it with the intention of starting over with a new perspective, leaving the past grievances behind here. Regarding what will happen, the outcome of a block in this person may lead to a, a transformed relationship or in some sort of kind. Akin to the phoenix cycle of death and rebirth, there is a possibility for a significant change. It could likely require a willingness to let go of the past and embrace new faces in the interactions here with uh, this person. Also, uh, you should consider uh, your own intuition here as well uh, regarding the specifics of your uh, situation here. This Phoenix card encourages transformation but does not warranty a specific outcome. Um, it also depends a lot on, on the actions and intentions of uh, both of the parties involved here. But mostly the Phoenix card leans towards a yes uh, with the possibility of renewal, fresh start, just that uh, keep in mind the final decision should be based on your personal feelings and the context, uh, context of your relationship with the person you're thinking about and asking about here. I'm not gonna take uh, that as a definitive answer though from uh, that card. I will take it from uh, the tarot. So, my pile number two. Should my pile number two... I didn't finish. <laughs> Should my pile number two here um, unblock the person on their mind or not? Yes or no? Should my pile number two unblock the person on their mind? Yes or no? You have the page of pentacles. The star. Okay, interesting. The pile number one got the star as well. And the page. So if you guys have been drawn to that... Um, reading uh, maybe there are some messages for you there so is my pile number does my pile number two should unblock this person or not is my pile number two should unblock the person on their mind or not okay the judgment oh, you have uh, four cards okay interesting here so what I'm seeing uh, my pile number two here for you first with this page of pentacles here um, you might be dealing here or you guys might be a Taurus, Virgo or a Capricorn. Uh, this is associated with the element of Earth which deals with material aspects, practicality and speaks of growth here. Um, this card um, speaks of opportunity for growth here and the beginning of a new venture here. Uh, tells me if you decide or choose to unblock the, this person that you're thinking of, it could represent a new phase where learning and curiosity here are going to be central. Uh, tells me that um, you need to have this willingness to see things from a fresh perspective or a, a start new chapter in terms of communication or understanding with this person here. Um,
regarding what will happen here with this page i'm getting that uh, you might have the opportunity here to um, learn a new experience here uh, that uh, might present it itself here potentially uh, can lead to growth or a new understanding between you and the person you're uh, considering i'm blocking here my pal number two um with this card there is a potential for a new beginning or learning experience so this is a positive card it's a yes here especially with all the cards here you have um and yes answer if you want to unblock them um the cards are saying that yes you uh, you should or you can if you feel it deep inside if your intuition is telling you so but uh, we also have here the star I see you being hopeful regarding this connection. Maybe you or this person are dreaming about each other here, uh, hoping for some healing. Um, you might be dealing with an Aquarius here. Um, it speaks of hope, inspiration, serenity here tells me that uh, unblocking this person could bring you a sense of hope and potential for healing here. Uh, tells me that there is a guiding light and a chance for peace and uh, rejuvenation in the relationship here or uh, connection with this person. Uh, regarding what will happen, uh, as I said, there is a potential for healing in uh, this relationship here. So unblocking this person might bring a sense of optimism and, uh, optimism and possibility for a fresh start here. Uh, let's see. With the Seven of Pentacles here, more Earth sign we're having here. Again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, this speaks of evaluation, patience, long-term planning here. So... I'm getting that uh, if you're going to unblock this person, um, it's going to be important to evaluate the progress and investment in this relationship with this person before you jump in to anything here with the Seven of Pentacles. Um, I'm getting this, uh, there is a need, sense of uh, having this need for patience here uh, to see if the relationship will bear fruit and if your efforts or the efforts here uh, are worth the time invested here for you, my pal number two. You, with the judgment card also, I'm getting that you should make um, this decision with your best judgment here. Uh, you need to see things. Uh, you also had the hangman from uh, at the bottom of the deck. You should just try to see if this is what you really want or not before jumping into something. Uh, but um, yeah, um, what will happen here? Uh, this might be a time to reflection on what has been invested in the relationship thus uh, far and consider whether it's worth continuing to invest time and, ener ener and energy into it here. Uh, it's what I'm getting. There is again potential for growth. Um, we discard, but... Um, both of the parties here involved need to put the energy and time into it, not only to be one-sided here. Uh, also, I see the things progressing slowly here between you and this person if you are to unblock them. Uh, I see uh, communication, but more as uh, on a friend level. Nah, I don't see anyone jumping into anything right away. There is this need for healing before uh, anything to happen, I'm getting. Uh, with this judgment, though, card... Um, 
this is like associated with the element of fire here um, due to this theme of rebirth, uh, decision making here, transformation. Um, you might be dealing or maybe you are a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius here. Uh, again, I'm seeing that you'll have to make here uh, a decision based on um, your best judgment here. Uh, you need to look at this um, situation here very carefully. Uh, try to see things from a fresh per perspective here, um, from another angle, angle, sorry for some of you, one on one on the clock. Um, I, I, this card again, just like the phoenix, <laughs> signifies the rebirth, inner calling, important decisions um, here. Uh, this tells me that I'm blocking this person could lead to a significant turning point. Uh, it's a time for reflection and possible forgiveness here where uh, both of you assess the past and decide uh, if future, uh, there is a future here for both of you. It could indicate a major decision that affects both of you um, here is what I'm getting. What will happen here? I see someone making a decision regarding this um, that will lead to this transformative period for both parties involved. It uh, might be a time of weighing the past and considering whether to move forward together or separately here. So some of you, will, you will continue healing this connection, investing into it, growing. Some of you, I seeing, uh, I'm seeing you taking a better look at this and de really deciding if this your it's if this is your ultimate um happiness here if this worth your time or not and you decide to go separately from this person here depending um about whom you're asking here i'm speaking from the point of view of a love relationship here um Overall here, I'm blocking this person could set in motion a series of, of events that uh, leads to learning, healing, contemplation, important decisions. The outcome will likely depend on the actions and attitudes of both of uh, the individuals involved in this after uh, the unblocking will happen here. But overall, as I said, all the cards lean towards the yes but with careful consideration uh, suggested here by the Seven of Pentacles here. Uh, let's jump into Oracle messages here for you guys. Let's see. So, should my pile number to unblock this person and what will happen? Should my pile number to unblock this person and what will happen here? take them so should my pile number to unblock this person and what will happen okay three cards you you're you're meant to get three uh maybe number three it's important for you guys hold your vision you have first card fixed moon you also have meditate and contemplate new moon in pisces um you also have a water sign here you might be dealing with, or you guys are, this is the seven of uh, pentacles energy, to be honest. And bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius. So for others of you, this is a confirmation that you are an Aquarius or dealing with one here. With this, hold your vision, um, the fixed moon here. 
I'm getting that my pile number two, you should stay committed to your vision and decision here regarding you uh, whether you should unblock uh, this person or not. Discard just advises you to stick to your initial instincts here or to the plans you've set uh, for this situation. Um, if you had a vision of for how you want to in the interaction or relationship to be, it's important to remain uh, steadfast here. We discard uh, with meditate and contemplate here. A new moon in Pisces uh, speaks of uh, introspection and connecting uh, with your intuition here. Before making the decision to unblock this person, take some time to really reflect on uh, your feelings and the potential uh, outcomes here. Uh, it tells me that uh, you should not rush your decision, but instead just um, allow your inner guidance to inform your next steps here. It's like confirmation message regarding what we just covered earlier with the tarot, to be honest. Uh, bring love into this, uh, into the situation, new moon in our careers. Uh, this Aquarian energy, it's all about innovation, community, and seeing the bigger picture here. So I'm getting that this card advises um, that uh, you should approach this situation with a mindset of love and detachment. If you're considering unblocking this person, it's important to uh, do so from a place of love and not from the past hurt or uh, expectations here. Uh, regarding if you should if you should unblock them or not, uh, the cards here hint towards uh, maintaining your vision, and I'm sure that uh, if you do so, if you decide to unblock this person, it just aligns with your long-term goals and expectations here, and it's n I'm not getting a clear yes or no, but rather just encouragement to be true to your vision uh, regarding the connection here with this person or relationship. Uh, what will happen um, if you were to unblock them after the careful uh, reflection here and um, with an approach of love and understanding here, the situation has the potential to evolve positive. Uh, I can say it. <laughs> I forgot the word. How do you pronounce it? Positive. I can say it in a positive manner. Anyway, uh, you find uh, you might find that uh, bringing a loving attitude uh, to the interactions with this person could transform the dynamics between you and them. But again, there is a uh, that empathize emphasize. emphasize uh, on the importance of clear intentions and emotional uh, preparedness here. I don't know, I can say some words, I'm sorry, 1818, 18, if that means something for you guys. Okay, anything else? Should my pile number to unblock this person or not? And what is going to happen here? the return a new story you decide alignment is coming together so <laughs> again that same energy guys uh i see some of you returning to this person i see you unblocking them uh, having a new story um you're having this alignment here you guys are coming together with this person uh, for others of you again i'm getting that uh, you might just uh, separate and go uh, on your own way here with the Holy Grail. Stop the endless search, inner quest. You, again, um, trust your intuition here. Just trust your intuition, guys. Uh, depending on uh, the situation you're in, just uh, listen to your inner call here. Because that's your holy grail is what I'm getting. And let's grab the last messages here for you. From the oracle messages. From my pile number two. Anything else? Anything else my pile number two needs to know regarding this reading here. Okay. Uh, I 
that there are more cards here let it go release the past forgive soften move forward so again that energy that duality here uh, some of you you're deciding to let go you're releasing the past you're forgiving uh, this person and you're just moving forward uh, you, you're trusting in your intuition you're listening to your inner call here and uh, I see you going separately. As I said, another confirmation message here for you guys. Clear waters, clear vision, confirmation, right timing, opportunity here. Uh, yeah, you're again having this clear vision over the situation here. Some of you, you're realizing that this is not what you need in your life. You're better off without this person here. I'm sensing that some, there are some opportunities that are coming uh, your way here. Um, with the right timing, I'm getting that if you're deciding to leave this person, uh, you will uh, meet someone else, someone new here with the right timing, opportunity as well. For others of you here, though, with these clear waters, I'm getting another message. Oops. Um, sorry for that. I'm getting that if you guys are considering to unblock this person, uh, now might be the right time to do so here. Uh, it implies that you have or uh, will soon have a clear understanding of why you want to unblock uh, this person, why you're feeling the call to do so, and um, what you hope to achieve by doing so. This card speaks of opportunity, so if I'm blocking this person aligns with the clear vision you have for the relationship or the situation with this person, it might be affirming that... Uh, is the right choice to do so. Um, the outcome here seems to be more favorable here uh, with this card. It indicates that if you choose to unblock uh, this person, you, you might be doing uh, so at an opportune time that could uh, lead to a positive um, opportunity or, or uh, development here. However, this card still emphasizes the need for a clear vision of what you want to happen and to ensure that your actions are aligned with your vision here. Uh, with the previous cards here, advising to hold your vision, bring love into situation, etc. Uh, these clear waters I'm getting here that um, adds that uh, any... Uh, actions you take uh, should be done with a sense of cert of uh, certainty and awareness of the right timing it's a nod towards being proactive but also ensuring that your decision is informed and uh, purposeful here uh, let's grab some messages here for you okay so for my pile number two what else do they need to know regarding this reading here? Any other messages for my pile number two here? What my pile number two needs to know regarding this reading? something to say there is something i really want to share with you i'm waiting for the right time to tell you so this person also feels the need to communicate with some of you uh for others of you this person is a bit obsessed i'm thinking uh, i sorry i'm I think I'm obsessed with you. I think about you all the time. Stalk your socials and hope I run into you when I'm out. For others of you. And for others of you, I see here divorce, experiencing a breakup. So yeah, uh, this is for those I'm getting that. Um, 
deciding to move on and just leave this person behind here go and separate the um, pets for others of you this could be actually someone you're divorcing uh, from or you're divorced from your ex husband wife here let's see what else i don't want you to take my feelings the wrong way any other messages here for my pal number two no okay so oops please don't leave for others of you this person still still has hopes <laughs> wishes hoping with the star card i wish we talk more you'll never believe if i told you how i feel and it makes my heart flutter when you show signs you care so for some of you this person still has strong feelings towards you here my pile number two this is uh, my reading i had for you guys just uh, trust your intuition and you know your story better than anyone you know if this person deserves to be unblocked or not depending how they treated you and the situation you guys been through anyway guys i hope it resonated with you if it did don't forget to uh, leave a comment down below leave a like will help me a lot to grow this channel and consider subscribing if you haven't done that already thank you guys take care and may your wishes come true my pile number three if you guys been drawn to this uh, red jasper crystal or to the mud from the untamed elemental card here uh, this uh, symbolizes uh, attraction, transformation, and sometimes the act of being drawn to something that might not always be beneficial to us here. Regarding if you should unblock uh, the person on your mind, uh, this card tells me that um, your desire to unblock uh, someone here might be coming from a place of uh, strong attraction towards this person or uh, an intensive uh, intense draw to the person or situation here however you need to be cautious as the mud is also known for uh, flying too close to the flame it's a reminder for you, you my pile number three, to consider if you, uh, your attraction is leading you to a positive transformation or po uh, potentially to something that uh, isn't in your best interest here with this card. Um, regarding what will happen here, uh, if you decide to unblock this person, the presence of the mud here indicates a strong possibility of being pulled back into a situation that is compelling and magnetic here. I'm sensing that devil energy kind of here. Um, the mud energy is intense and not always rational and can lead to situations that foster growth but can also lead to getting burned if not being careful here. So, my pile number three, just consider uh, your motivations carefully here. Are you seeking transformation and growth or are you being pulled by this irresistible yet potentially harmful attraction towards someone? Um, the outcome it will likely depend on your awareness of these dynamics and your ability to navigate them with self-awareness here. Uh, if this is a yes or no card, even I, I will give you the answer, but I'm not uh, basing my reading on this card. I will draw my answers from the tarot card. Well, we'll have the uh, yes or no um, question. But uh, um, this tells me to be cautious and it leans more towards a no here for you unless you feel certain that the reconnection will lead to positive transformation. So yeah, if you unblock this person here guys, uh, the outcome is just uncertain but likely intense and transformative which will be either positive or negative here. So, for my pile number three here, <laughs> a 
okay so for my pile i'm going to say should they unblock the person on their mind or not yes or no yeah. should my pile number three unblock the person on their mind yes or no okay will my pile should uh, my pile number three unblock the person on their mind yes or no should the pile number three unblock the person on their mind yes or no so let's see four of pentacles five of pentacles the queen of wands here okay um they look odd <laughs> but uh yeah with the four of pentacles five of pentacles i see here strong earth sign you might be an earth sign or the person you want to unblock could be an earth sign um taurus virgo or capricorn here for you guys with this four of pentacles here uh for actually before i get to that message i just got another message here this could be someone that uh, you guys uh, they own you some sort of money here and you're thinking about reaching out to ask them to give you what they own you back here that specific message but with the four of pentacles um you have this strong desire for control and stability and uh, I, i'm getting that for majority of you this is uh, causing you to hold on too tightly to what happened in the past here between you and this person uh, definitely we have the queen of wands here you're feeling that strong attraction that we spoke in the mode card towards this person here um, for others of you um, I'm getting that uh, you're holding back because you're afraid that this person will let you out in the cold again. They will abandon you again. Then there is only this uh, uh, physical attraction between you and them. And um, maybe this person is not prepared for a relationship with you at this time here. Um... For others of you, I'm getting that you're holding uh, this person block for um, the security that you're feeling uh, when you know that this person cannot disturb your uh, uh, stability, your um, feelings here, like they can't just dig out the past and uh, resurface the feelings you had towards them here. Or maybe you just have this fear out uh, of change here. Um, um, I'm seeing you through my pile number three trying to be in control here. Um, you're afraid as i said that you'll go back to this state of mind here to feeling lonely abandoned um, that they will take advantage of you if you unblock this person here um you might for others of you you might be clinging to situations or feelings regarding this person you maybe this person actually moved on already but you're still hoping and have clinging on the idea that they feel the same way that you feel towards them um Uh, I'm getting with this four of pentacles that it's a sign to consider why you're holding back here. Are you protecting the, yourself here, my pile number three, or are you stuck in your comfort zone? Uh, regarding um, 
what will happen if you unblock this person uh, unblocking this person with the four of pentacles might uh, challenge your sense of security here and control you may have uh, to face issues that you've been avoiding here with this person now uh, for the uh, for, <laughs> for the pile for the five of pentacles here um, this represents hardship um, I'm getting that uh, you've been investing your time your energy um, your feelings in um, whatever happened here with this person for others of you even your money uh, with this five of pentacles and four of pentacles you might have even uh, I don't know I feel like you might have even lived together with this person share the same house home some of you uh, but this is that feeling of uh, left out you're experiencing a lack of resources or support uh, with this person here uh, they haven't been too supportive of you um, and I don't know you might have been even the provider here for this person for others of you in relation to unblocking this person tells me that um, either you or the person you've blocked is feeling isolated or rejected here and there is a sense of loss or uh, sarcastic in the connection with this person here there could also be an initial period of discomfort or the resurfacing of the past difficulties here uh, however this card can also represent the potential for growth through facing adversity here for some of you let's see with this queen of oh i forgot to <laughs> uh, tell you um I was getting the message here sorry that uh, some of you could have struggled uh, in the connection with this person here um, you feel exclu excluded by this person uh, here they don't uh, they never really included you in their life here is what I'm getting This could also imply that keeping this person blocked, you're either contributing to or maintaining a sense of isolation for some of you, either yourself or the other person here. But I'm sensing that sense of growth here for you guys with this uh, card, it's possible to have some growth, um, to just leave this energy behind not to feel isolated left out here but yeah let's uh, jump to this uh, queen of uh, wands here for others of you you could be on a fire sign here or maybe you're dealing with a fire sign Aries, Sagittarius uh, and uh, Leo here this uh, card speaks of uh, confidence warmth courage here um, the queen of wands it's often as uh, seen as a social butterfly here maybe the person you'll be dealing with they were kind of a social butterfly uh, or maybe this is you uh, full of passion and charisma here and this tells me if you are going to unblock the, this person uh, this can bring this sense of positive energy and social engagement to the situation here between you and this person um, uh, 
also this tells me if you guys decide or choose to unblock this person you should do it with confidence and passivity that uh, this queen just uh, brings to the table and embodies here regarding what will happen if you unblock this person uh, speaks of this positive outcome where you take charge of the situation with a clear mind and a warm heart uh, tells me that unblocking them could lead to a constructive and assertive interaction where you guys handle the situation with maturity and grace uh, for others of you though again this is kind of a warning card uh, this could lead to drama the queen of wands can be known for uh, liking dramas making dramas um is what i'm getting but um yeah um this card seems to indicate that uh, while there might be some initial discomfort or fear of losing control uh, the overall outcome of unblocking this person has the potential to be positive for some of you of course for others of you could be that uh, mod energy we spoke earlier could be that intense attraction especially with the queen of wands and could lead back to feeling left out on the cold losing your stability here so be careful about this just trust your best intuition like trust you're making the right decision you know your situation the best here my pile number three and um yeah i'm getting that um The decision should be made considering whether you're ready to face um, the possible overcome uh, overcoming like I'm getting you will have some sort of challenges with this person here uh, especially represented by the four of Pentacles five of Pentacles here so the Queen of Wands it's a very intuitive uh, queen so she's always uh, uh, taking actions based on trust so i'm getting that this is your advice here as well my pile number three um but the cards here uh, it's it's a yes but with being cautious here uh, just pro approach the situation with confidence and uh, in the same time just be prepared for the uh, challenges that uh, might arise here for some of you especially with the mud card let's grab some um, oracle messages and see what else we can get out of this should my pile number three approach this uh, <laughs> uh, should approach should unblock this person or not don't let the pride get in your way so if you're holding back uh, out of pride or keeping this person blocked out of pride um, this card just advises you to don't let the pride get in your way for some of you not for everyone again we have that fire energy a leo um this tells me that uh, maybe this person was very proudful um they had uh, a big ego ego uh, is what I'm getting with this card as well. Also, you have here at the bottom of the deck a win win outcome is forecast full moon in Libra. You might be a Libra dealing with one, doesn't have to, but I'm getting regarding what you guys will choose here uh, regarding if you should unblock this person or not. You will win here, <laughs> no matter what you choose. Um, the universe it's uh, balancing the things out in your life here for you and uh, it's bringing you the good karma that you deserve but uh, jumping to this uh, card here it tells me that uh, you may need to set aside your ego and pride or maybe the person you're dealing with uh, they need to do that as well um in, but yeah, don't just let the ego and the um, pride aside and uh, make a decision that is for the highest good of all involved here. 
uh, it's all, also called to consider reconciliation for some of you and have this open communication as long as it's healthy and constructive uh, regarding what will happen if you unblock this person this tells me that you should be prepared for bold actions strong emotions uh, which are uh, characteristic uh, of this Leo energy and uh, this tells me that it might lead to a passionate exchange or rekindling of a dynamic connection but it's important to remain humble and avoid just letting this pride or stubbornness to create unnecessary conflicts or barriers between you and this person here but again depends from case to case you guys know your story better uh, let's grab oops Let's see, for my pile number three, should they unblock the person on their mind or not? What else we need to know regarding this reading? Okay, I hope there are too, too many cards. I'll try again, guys. So, my pile number three, should they unblock or not this person? What else we, they need to know here? interesting <laughs> you got the same message uh, like uh, pile number one this uh, card to the pile number one got it as well uh, surrender to the mystery fall into her arms um, the gray mother I'm getting that for some of you maybe you guys are uh, having a dispute with uh, your grandmother maybe or your mother you guys stop speaking with them you block them energetically uh, on social media on whatever uh, you block their number for some of you um, but um uh, this card is a calling to just surrender to whatever you feel here um, trust your intuition if you guys feeling that uh is the if you're feeling that yeah you i should unblock this person and see how the things are going uh we had enough time to heal uh, and uh, we are able to have this mature conversation now uh this card tells me that yeah you should unblock them and see how the things are going but if you're feeling or felt that you shouldn't unblock this person you should keep them blocked because they hurt you too much they left you left out in the cold they used you for money they only had the passion for you and they never wanted a stable connection with you uh you should follow your intuition here Okay, let's grab one more message from the oracles for my pile number three. Should they unblock this person or not? What else my pile number three needs to know? And so you have stagnant waters, feeling stuck, also call for shifts, flow and change. And you also have here, ride the ties, life lessons and growth, you'll get through this. Oh, the messages here are so sweet, I love them. Can we have that five of pen, uh, the four of pentacles, sorry, energy here with stagnant waters, feeling stuck. A call for shift, flowing change here. This tells me that there is a situation in your life where things might feel stuck or there is a lack of progression or you're feeling that uh, if you are going to unblock this person, uh, nothing will change, things will not uh, progress between you and this person, but... Um, this is a call for shifting your energy here um, tells me that you need maybe to initiate changes or shifts to create flow and movement here in your life uh, so if this resonates with you my pile number three then yes uh, it might be beneficial to unblock um, 
these stagnant energies here into your life. Uh, with the right the waters here, uh, this on the other hand is a reminder that despite the challenges or difficult em emotions, there is a lesson to be learned and grow uh, growth. Sorry, to be gained. Uh, again, this is like that energy of the Queen of Wands kind of. Um, tells me that by facing and navigating through these challenges, you will emerge stronger here. Uh, so, I'm getting that uh, if you're going to unblock this person uh, with the stagnant waters here, could lead to a period of growth and learning. And uh, as indicated here in the Ride the Waves um, card, you can expect to encounter life lessons while they might be tough here for some of you. Um, well, ultimately contribute to your personal development here it seems to be a call to emerge uh, sorry to embrace change and uh, the natural flow of life just um this will uh, will ensure you that will get you through the difficulties with increased wisdom and strength here Regarding if you should unblock them, yes, if you feel ready to initiate change and movement in a situation that is currently feeling stuck, uh, at least maybe you'll get some sort of closure here for some of you. You'll be able to move uh, on with your life for others of you. Um, and for others of you, this could lead to some potential growth for you and this person. Uh, regarding what will happen speaks of a journey through challenges that will lead to a growth and learning uh, you'll get through it though emerging with valuable life lessons here so uh, as you saw earlier the win-win outcome is uh, forecast <laughs> you're winning here no matter what my pile number uh, three uh, let's see So for my pile number three, what else my pile number three needs to know regarding this situation here? Regarding this reading, what my pile number three needs to do. Okay, this one will come out. And these two. For some of you, I see honeymoon. Honeymoon phase attending someone's wedding. So this could be your wedding for some of you, for others of you. Uh, unblocking this person, you know, if it's a love situation, could bring you to some honeymoon phase. Maybe you blocked a close friend or someone that will invite you to attend their wedding here. Once you reconciliate here, uh, for others of you, I see someone else. Someone else is in the middle. Someone is trying to sabotage this. So maybe this is the reason you block this person. Um, there was someone else mendeling in the connection between you and them. Oh, <laughs> pile number one got this one as well. Unblock me. I miss you and want to connect. Please unblock me, literally or energetically, so I can so we can speak. I have a lot to say. So, well, if you you your intuition was telling you that. Uh, you need to unblock this person. Well, this is your confirmation here. And showing out, I'm acting like I don't care about what's happening between us, but I do. I just want to appear unbothered. So I think this was in pile one as well. Um, yeah, guys. I don't know if, uh, if you've been drawn to that uh, pile or... Uh, the energy to it maybe there are some messages for some of you there let's see anything else for my pile number three regarding the situation okay plenty cards you got here I picture us being together someday so this person or you still having hope over this uh, relationship if it's uh, related to love I'm trying to make uh, my way to you here 
conversation. I want to call you and hear your voice, but I can't to find the right uh, words to say to you. Our last conversation is still weighing on me, so some drama happened for some of you here. You'll never believe me if I told you how I feel. I really want to make love to you. We feel that uh, energy of the mud, the positive one here. Uh, transformation, I'm becoming a better person here. It makes my heart flutter when you show signs you care. And we also have this honesty, fractures, tr trust, separating even the closest of bonds. So someone here was not being honest about their situation when they met you or I don't know if this person owns you guys money, uh, they lied that they will pay back and they never done it. Maybe you borrow them for the we for their wedding. I don't know. That specific uh, message. I just don't want this to end. So, you guys, this person <laughs> still has feelings for you. And we also have at the bottom ego. I was too proud to admit that I do care about you. We saw that Leo energy. <laughs> So yeah, guys, this is what I had for you. If this resonated with you in any sort of way, leave a comment down below. I would love to hear your story and read them. And um, don't forget to leave a like. It will help me a lot. Or consider subscribing to this channel to help this community grow. And this way, um, we can be the alg algorithm and just... Uh, uh, this message can reach to the people that are meant to hear so yeah guys thank you so much for being here until the end wish you to have an amazing day or night depending on the time zone you're watching this and may your wishes come true bye